I want to bring into this conversation Yehuda Glick, who is a former Knesset lawmaker with Likud and also a Temple Mount activist. I want to get your sense, sir, uh, and thank you for being with us, on what that ultra-Orthodox lawmaker with the UTJ party said, to continue to ban Jews from ascending to the Temple Mount. I want to get your reaction on Gaffney's comments. Shalom, Jeff, from Jerusalem, and blessings to all those who are joining us uh, around the world. It's wonderful to be back into peaceful days where we are after a ceasefire and we are back to calm day that we would like it to be. Uh, the Temple Mount is the world center for peace, is the world center for prayer to the one and only God. And that, 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 that is what it should be, and that's what we have to strive to bring. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there are those who try to use the Temple Mount as a, an instrument to uh, justify terror and violence. And uh, we have to stand up and make sure that doesn't happen because the ones to blame for violence are the violent people and those who incite them. And uh, therefore, uh, the Temple Mount is, is should be uh, a place which welcomes all those who want to pray to God. It's the holiest place in the world, recognized by billions of people around the world who are believers of the Bible. Uh, those who don't want to ascend Temple Mount are welcome not to ascend Temple Mount. But the Temple Mount has to be a welcoming place for those who do want to pray to God. Uh, this is the uh, holiest place in the world, as I said. It is uh, looked at by billions of people around the world, Jews, Muslims, Christians, who want the place to symbolize the location and that, uh, the venue that God chose to rest his divine presence in the world. And therefore, it is... Uh, extremely uh, important that uh, this place remains a welcoming place, a peaceful place, a place uh, of uh, uh, humble and humidity and not a place of, uh, of, of incitement, harassment, and, and, and violence. But has this conflict, this 11-day conflict, has it changed your thoughts on your activism, on your efforts to, uh, allow, to get Jews to f openly and freely pray in large groups on the Temple Mount? Has the risk of more violence, another war, changed your thinking? Well, first of all, I, I usually don't allow the uh, violent and terrorist uh, people to uh, set my, uh, uh, I would say, my, to, to, to have an input on my uh, theology and philosophy. I don't, I don't think we should give in to any terror or any kind of violence. I think that if we do give in to violence and terror, it's only going to encourage more violence and more terror. If, God forbid, today the Temple Mount would, would remain closed, it would be a prize, a bonus for terror. And yes, it would encourage more terror. And therefore, it's extremely vital to make sure uh, terror does not receive any uh, benefits, any achievements, and any bonuses. And therefore, yes, as you said, uh, the place is very, very uh, uh, delicate, very uh, uh, sensitive, and therefore we have to make sure that it does not uh, re uh, remain in the hands of the radical people. And I'm very happy that a few years ago, five years ago, due to our activity, the Israeli government outlawed the, the, the violent uh, activists on Temple Mount, and that's the way it should remain. Temple Mount should not be a place open for people who encourage violence. It should be a place which encourages prayer, sanctity, holiness, connection to God. And that's the way it should remain. Yeah. And uh, I think that uh, if we want to prevent violence, we have to make sure those who have any interest in using violence as a, as a tool to promote their agenda should not be able to do so.